Welcome back. Hello, hello and welcome back. And today we are going to be reviewing an IC all call R weave. And I think this is in a very very interesting sector which is the storage sector and I say this from my experience in this sector a couple of years ago when I was working at EMC at that time of course EMC was the largest storage company in the world so are we now we are de redefining uh, storage on the blockchain and it comes with the premise of permanent low cost and censorship free storage. So, our role is actually to look at how this Rweave ICO can uh, really position itself among the best ICOs. Is it going to be good? Is it going to bomb? And to do this again, we use this uh, six uh, parameters that got us from US 20k last year to US 1 million in only four and a half months. And this uh, is by going through and studying the dimensions of sector, height, use case, tokenomics, roadmap, and also intelligence. So, when you go uh, about Rweave, you really have to look more at the storage industry, okay? Because uh, this is very, very new. So, we'll go to the storage industry and then we'll link it back to the blockchain. It's basically uh, off chain storage. And then we'll relate it on how it can be a good ICO or not. And of course, before we go on, I'd just like to remind you that I am not a financial advisor. Please use this. Uh, information that you get here for only educational purposes where i am evaluating this and this is only for my personal investment now if you want to invest in icos please note that icos can be very very risky and this video does not uh, claim to support you to buy our weave or not please get the advice of your financial advisor if you decide to do so so with that gone, let's move into our week. Let's go here. Okay, so really what's happening now is, you know, to me, there's a battle between the Davids and Goliath, where are we with the small guy here? And he's going up against the big guys, okay? You're talking about Filecoin, Storage, Mate Safe, IPFS, SIA in traditional storage. You're talking about another exciting uh, ICO that's coming out in storage also. And uh, this is the ICO of here. This is Light Streams, in fact. And of course, there was Blue Zell, which is like, uh, you know, which focuses more on databases, okay? Immutable databases on the blockchain and which is now also working with the NEO Council. So these are big guys. In addition to that, you also have the traditional guys like Google Drive, Dropbox, and also SkyDrive from uh, Microsoft. And of course, you guys know that uh, Dropbox recently went for an IPO. So the good thing is uh, this is a sector where there are many, many large, large giants. Now, whether our weave can actually position itself to go big like these guys is another issue. But storage is a three trillion industry. And as the blockchain goes, naturally, we are going to need lots of storage. And how much storage do we need? Well, we're going to need a lot of storage because, you know, information is growing now at a rate that has uh, basically never been seen before and all the storage companies that are good is are going to be able to build a very very uh, strong position uh, inside uh, this this storage niche and uh, why is that so well basically storage is a sweet spot and there are bound to be many players explosive growth dictates more storage on the blockchain for big data and when we talk about big data we're talking about data from everywhere, okay? We're not talking about relational data, which is like structured data that, that you store in databases. That's very small uh, data. Most of the data that's going to come out now is going to be through big data. So now uh, you know that uh, if you look at the internet in the 1990s, you know, uh, although it was a lot about, you might thought that it was a lot about servers and it was a lot about networks, 
uh, you have to remember that the best performing stock in the 1990s was not about the server and network stocks. It was actually EMC. And EMC was a storage company. And that was the best performing stock on the New York Stock Exchange. So this is very interesting. So now during the blockchain, you have a battle of the blockchains. You know, the third generation blockchain, the fourth generation blockchain. You have things like, uh, you know, uh, dApps, uh, you have things like DAX coming up and also uh, all this fault tolerance stuff, the security stuff. This is the infrastructure. But of course, when you have infrastructure, you have to have somewhere to store the data. And I believe this is where storage is coming up. And I see a lot of exciting ICOs in this and I'm sure that the winners will rule the rules. So let me tell you uh, my experience itself from the storage industry while we were at EMC, you know, we were selling those big storage machines this was called symmetrics and then we had another junior one called clarion and then uh, we were also battling another company that was big then which is called hitachi data system so both of us were really battling it out and while that was happening there was this little guy okay? there was this little guy and this little guy was uh, a company called netapps okay and netapps did a uh, network attached storage which is uh, far uh, smaller, uh, it doesn't perform as fast as the big storage machines from EMC or Hitachi, but they managed to really build a good niche there. So they managed to build a good niche for the small guy. And I think this is where our weave would uh, really fit well in that you have a battle between all the big giants of the storage uh, industry. I mean, I'm talking about the blockchain uh, storage industry, of course, and our weave could then position itself as the small guy that delivers okay and this is the same uh, uh strategy used by netapps it was actually very cheap it was actually very fast and <laughs> they just sold very well so again my advice for are we now where i'm excited about this is while the giants battled it out among themselves, Arweave could potentially sneak up on its rival using cheap technology. And this is what it does. And they're very dead honest about this also. And we'll see in the uh, white paper, uh, the, the, the strategy is quite clear and I think it's quite clever, you know, because one thing you do not want to do, uh, especially when you're small, is you want to go up against the giants and Arweave really is one of the smallest. Okay, guys, it is really one of the smallest uh, ICOs with a hard cap of only 8.5 million US dollars. Now, this is good, okay? This I really, really like because it's really, really small. And if it does become a net apps, then you are going to see valuation increase many, many fold. Let's go to the next slide now. So basically the tsunami of data is getting bigger. We need a scalable storage infrastructure for the blockchain, okay? Because you look at this, okay? This is the data, a flood of data by 2020. Average in a user, my God, you're gonna lose like 1.5 gigabyte of traffic per day. Autonomous vehicles are gonna use like four terabytes. Oh my God, connected airplanes, five terabyte. Smart factory, one petabyte. Cloud video provider, 70. 750 petabytes of videos per day so really you know uh, if we're going to go uh, through the blockchain and if we are going to make blockchain big then naturally we need to store this storage somewhere but the cost of traditional storage is really too high you know you have a high cost of accessing the content and then you have the problem of archival okay the storage archival the fact is that the content is not stored permanently whereby, but you want some storage that is stored permanently. So this problem has to be solved. And this is why our weave is so, so crucial here as an ICO because it really is, it has a new blockchain with a proof of access mechanism. And let's see here, this is the cost of currently storing one megabyte only one megabyte on the ethereum blockchain and this is from i got it from light streams look one megabyte is going to cost about thirteen thousand usd wow it's a lot 18 minutes to so now that is really too slow and that is where i think that storage is going to be big in the future okay the icos of storage are going to be big now of course you see uh blockchain icos are going up and up just look at the um uh, the uh you know the uh 
thing that is happening now where people are going after uh, all these ICOs such as for you know Tomo coin uh, P chain Eden chain Quark chain and all that but I think that one day storage is just going to do that okay compared to the blockchain ICOs and our weave is actually in a generation an early generation of storage infrastructure providers that are going to do very well and as uh, was seen from the internet in the 1990s and early 2000s, storage does better of all the infrastructure, okay? So remember this, storage does the best of all the infrastructure. It's numero uno. So the more that we understand storage, the more we are able to make good picks so that we end up with the winners in the future. And this is not only uh, once uh you know, uh, once uh, uh, happening thing is going to happen continuously because data grows and grows and grows. So definitely something like Arweave is something for the long term. And I, for one, using my experience in the storage industry, know for a fact that something like this is not a flash in the pan. It is something uh, for keeps, definitely. So here is a summary of our weave. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, white paper uh, after this. It features free, low cost, always on storage. Now, always on is always uh, very, very good. You know, for our weave, you pay once and then you keep forever, which is very, very good. Current on chain solutions are too expensive to even consider, you know, because you saw that the way the cost of storing Ethereum, what was it? We saw just now, right? And I, I, I just left this empty because. I just think this is going to change as the price of Ethereum change is like 13,000 US when we saw now. Guys, this is just way, way, way too high. It's definitely not sustainable. So definitely something like our weave has come to the rescue. And in order to do this, it does feature uh, some very uh, innovative uh, technology here. You have the block weave there on-chain storage, cost-efficient, reduce hashing for consensus. In fact, our weave is very, very unique because uh, the cost of uh, it, the cost of our weave actually goes down as the storage volume increases. And as you know, since we have a data tsunami, that means the cost of storing the information on our weave will go down. That is something that will happen so this is very very good it has a proof of access consensus mechanism and together with proof of work miners need to only store previous blocks instead of having to create new blocks so this definitely saves storage space and helps bring down this cost of 13,000 uh, for one megabyte of storage now down now to almost free okay it also has a mechanism called wildfire this is an incentive for miners to share data okay because you really want to share data and not waste storage space and collaborate with each other so this avoids large mining pools which are really a waste of electricity but one thing that i really like about our weave is block shadows okay so rather than moving entire block they only move the shadows of the block this essentially couples transactions from blocks and allows reconstruction of full blocks so what this does if you look at ethereum you know ethereum has basically sharding to uh, accelerate uh, the ethereum network and you see this being used in silica you also see this uh, being used in, in, in quark chain and but for storage uh, the mechanism that our weave uses is block shadows so this is again a tip of the iceberg we will have a revolution in data storage just like the internet in the late 1990s and our weave i'm sure will definitely be part of it and one of the uh, factors that i really like about our weave is about standing on the shoulders of giants they do say that in the white paper because you see when you want to do this fast you really can't afford to spend so much time doing r d and not releasing a product so what are we is doing is actually very very good because they are going to have their main net okay get this they are going to have their main net running by the time of the ico on june 8 which i think is really really brilliant okay so this is the effect that our weave is really standing here yeah it's actually cool. uh, sitting down on the shoulders of giants so this 
gives us a lot of confidence in the ability of the RWE team to really, really execute. Things, you know, one of the primary things that I find really, really attractive about RWE for me is that it really hits a chord, okay? It really hits a chord uh, to me because this is really about permanent, low cost and censorship free story, something that we can afford. Because if we have all this, but we can't afford it, then it is no use. So what I like is that we can really afford it and it's a model of pay once and store forever. This is what I want, okay? Pay once and store forever because I don't like that current IT model of having to pay maintenance fees for a very long time. So pay once, store forever suits at me fine. And the best of all, if I say the MVP will be achieving 5,000 transactions per second by the time of the ICO on June uh, 8th. And of course, this is the block weave, okay? This is the blockchain called the block weave and as more and more clients join it, of course, the costs go down down it has a serverless architecture stores and data in format most appropriate for 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 whatever a protocol comes in so i also like our weave i'm going to go through this uh you know it has a api called a rest which uses http so it has this use case of having decentralized storage decentralized data sharing academic publishing market and also decentralized data identity and protection so before uh we go to the next section here why don't we just go in and look at their website this is the our weave uh, website yeah uh, you have the good thing here is that it has a light paper here you can go to the telegram group here and it has solved the old millionaire problem of decentralized data availability i said i like this already pay once store forever it intends to be the backbone of this new decentralized internet the are protocol features here the block weave Okay, self-organizing network, high transaction throughputs, 5,000 transactions per second, and very simple decentralized app development. So through the REST APIs, it allows a lot of apps to be developed on the RWE platform. And I think this is one of the most important factors in considering for an ICO, because if you do not have the apps on your network or on your blockchain, then that will basically stunt the uh, progress of the blockchain and uh, also the potential of the ICO to, to go to the moon, which is what you guys want, right? So again, I agree, this is just the beginning and you can read the light paper here. I really like the light paper here because uh, I really like what they say here. You look at this, typical blockchains have several major well-known problems with data storage. These problems require new third-party protocols to be integrated on top of existing blockchains. This is not easy, okay? As fees are too high for on-chain storage to be feasible. Yeah, right, $13,000 for one megabyte. No thanks. So with typical blockchain, there's always going to be a cost to access content and the content is never stored permanently. So they present Arweave, a new blockchain-like structure. So they say here, the blockchain is a platform designed to provide scalable on-chain storage in a cost-efficient manner for the very first time. As the amount of data stored in the system increases, the amount of hashing needed for consensus increases decreases this is really really great it also has here the protocols existing rest api make it trivially simple trivially simple to actually build dApps on 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 top of this and here is what i really most like about this uh, it's a very technical paper which is good because i don't see a lot of technical papers around i see a lot of marketing papers around but this is very different because it is a technical paper and this means that the guys behind our weave know what they're doing so here it says all blockchain innovations sit on the shoulders of giant including bitcoin itself a symphony of data structures distributed networking and cryptography we too have sought to further the space solving specific shortcomings of existing blockchain networks namely storage and along the way a novel approach to transaction speed so again as i said this is what i most like about our way because they are solving specific shortcomings of existing blockchain networks and they are really standing on the shoulders of giants okay because this is what you need to do so rather than maintain a copy of the entire blockchain in order to verify future transactions they do don't they don't do this okay and this was explained uh, just now in 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 basically the uh, algorithm that that they use which is very very innovative
So let's go around on all this uh, white paper again. It's a very good white paper because it tells you why they're doing this. It explains to you the uh, technology here. It has here like block weave, proof of access, wildfire, block shadows, and, and, and all that. And it describes it in quite detail here so you're gonna have fun reading this and i think as you read this you'll have more and more uh, appreciation of what our weave uh, can really do and uh here what 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 they want to do is a theoretical attack against our weave is that has become extraordinarily large is that miners may work cooperatively to maintain a single copy of the weave which they all access to retrieve call blocks while well, this kind of behavior may at first seem problematic this is not in fact the case so if such storage pools were employed by a large proportion of the miners the incentive for other miners to store rare block increases okay so they've actually turned this around okay to make sure that the storage pools are able to collaborate with each other okay so again you might be self-interested but there's also a riff of setting function to the network which scales as the potential for data loss grows so that's very very good there's a serverless architecture here uh, again this means that it's going to be very very cheap and if the application is best served by a highly optimized merkle structure such as the one found in ethereum virtual machine it can easily be implemented on the weave so if you're using ethereum then this provides something that is easily to be integrated there and the best thing of this is a very well thought out uh, paper and of course they are from Techstars so again uh, you know if you are part of Techstars you'll probably be in a facility where there are a lot of other companies there and of course here is where you can actually uh, go about and exchange ideas okay so use cases here are like in authenticity okay too often legal systems is tied up with litigation over authenticity of documents so an example is that are we solves this problem by providing an indefinite and verifiable store of any digital content from the author and in 2017 the state of delaware ruled to have blockchain evidence admissible in court proceedings this rewards could dramatically speed up disputes over artistic attribution and intellectual property battles so this is very good because in a creative economy there's bound to be a lot of problems with data so the fact that they provide okay they provide indefinite and verifiable source of any digital content is very very good because you know in social media we might produce something and we don't want people to steal our uh, our this one right our uh, ip so something that can store forever would definitely be uh, supported by the uh, community here so let's go and and look more at uh, what these guys are all about and here i have an example of a uh, use case here and i very like our weave now because you know as i said the main net is going to be released on june 8 during the ico 5000 uh, tps which is uh, very very impressive since you know the ico has just started just imagine they already have 5000 tps working they already have a use case for a hospital in germany called sharait they have an academy inclined team because uh, the founders, the main two founders are PhD candidates. So this is very, very good. I like it because it's basically a mixture of academia, okay? It's a mixture of academia and industry. Awesome, guys, awesome academia and industry. And also, might I add, because of the uh, tech stars factor here, it it's also a mixture of startups and i'm sure that they are running the company based on lean principles and all that so uh, i feel very very safe if i were to invest in this and an example of an area where this can be used in malaysia where i come from you know the hospital system in malaysia is a two-tiered hospital system where we have the public and private sector now the issue comes out when you want to change exchange medical records between the public and private sector and you have seen okay we've seen a lot of attempts to consolidate this into one national project has failed there was a total hospital information system that failed before and also telemedicine but something like our weave here uh, you know which is basically immutable storage cheap storage okay immutable and cheap storage could usually uh, could easily be used to basically transfer medical records as it goes from private hospitals you know to the 
ambulance or to the main hospitals or going from clinics that refer it to the private hospitals that eventually refer it back to the public hospitals for serious cases. So this uh, transfer of secure transfers, confidential medical records, which will have to follow referrals from clinic is very, very good for hospital, clinics to hospitals. And it will also allow a way of long-term storage, okay? Because immutable medical records, you want the medical records to be immutable, but leads this leads to a lot of possibility of long-term storage. And if you put on a security layer on this, then this would really help to revolutionize, okay? Revolutionize the uh, medical sector all around the world. So before we go to our conclusion, it's also very good if we could look at the people here behind our weave and, you know, let's go and see. Yeah, this is a good community. Our friends and partners, yep, this is very, very advantageous. They have tech stars there. They have all these other partners here. They have the ecosystem here, a journal of raw data, permanent internet archive, illegal document storage. And that was what I was mentioning when I was mentioning uh, medical data. You have raw data, you have an archive data so that uh, the, the medical records can be archived for the long term. And of course, medical records are very legal, legal records that can be used. And if I have a problem or if I go into an accident or something, then data from the medical record can be used to treat me in the future. And of course, there are other uh, applications here such as verifiable democracy. Of course, build your dreams. Yeah, build your dreams. I like this one, okay? Just build your dreams with Arweave. So let's meet the team here. The founder here is Sam Williams. Founder and CEO is a PhD candidate. Okay, he's a PhD candidate, which is very good. William Jones is also a PhD candidate in the intersection of computer science, graph theory, and neuroscience. Now let's go here and uh, let's go uh, look ahead at their LinkedIn for the main uh, co-founders here and also India Reynolds, she is the COO because I like to use LinkedIn as a way to, to, to verify all these people. So India Raybol here, Chief Coordinating Officer at Arweave and look at her record here. Okay, these are her activities. Where was she before? Well, that's good. Uh, Chief Coordinating Officer, Psychology Student Advisor, Canterbury Christchurch University in the United Kingdom. And here we look at William Jones, CTO at Arweave, entrepreneur and co-founder at Arweave, PhD candidate in computer science, okay? He's a PhD candidate in computer science. He has about, you know, passionate about digital freedom, trustless system governance, and also crypto economics. He was an assistant lecturer at University of Kent. And interestingly, yeah, CTO and co-founder of Minimum spanning technology, which is of course developing the R weave block weave. There it is, University of Ken, University of Ken, yeah, uh, computer science first class honors, and now he is a PhD candidate there. And here you have Sam Williams, uh, University of Nottingham. Let's go here. Uh, CEO and co-founder at Arweave, UMC of Nottingham, first class uh, honors computer science, UMC of Kent, PhD in computer science also. So this seems like uh, 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 students uh, who are in the PhD program, program getting together and doing a super duper uh, blockchain. So uh, let's see, do we go for this? Uh, let's, let's go do the final conclusion here. So again, you know, uh, I see uh, our weave as uh, something Wow, did you see that? I mean, our weave is really badass. So it's trying to tell me a message here that it can really do it against all these giants. So let's go and make a conclusion here and let's see whether the decision to go for our weave is a yay or a nay. Because if you look in the sector, as I explained, storage is a very big sector. It was the biggest sector of the internet in the uh in the 1990s and 2000, when, when, when I say the biggest sector, I mean it had uh, the companies which had the largest uh, stock appreciations, and, and that was EMC, you know, the NetApps and the EMCs of the world. It certainly has hype in our weave now because, you know, I was in at a very early stage. I got into the, uh, the, the, the private sale actually, and now you can look, there's 29,000 people already 
on the telegram group the use case is really really superb you already saw that this is basically to uh, look at the ip and to provide long-term storage okay long-term storage archival storage uh, for uh, organizations and also for people like you and me the tokenomics are really really great there's only like 8.5 million uh, hard cap there the roadmap I even love the roadmap now because look guys by the time of the ICO it is going to already have a main net at 5,000 TPS this is something that rarely uh, ICOs really do because ICOs basically ask us to take a leap of faith but in our week man they're saying hey guys we are here we are going to deliver intelligence I really like the team because this is a combination of really academia a very unique combination as I said of academia of startups in tech stars and also of the industry and I'm sure that we arm with this kind of team they are able going to give they are going to be able to give these guys whether it be the traditional players the uh, blockchain players or the new guys like Lightstream and Blue Zell a real run for the money but then as we said again they have great technology they have cheap technology which I think is going to be advantageous in and of itself but can they really knock the giants and I believe they really can because uh, they have something uh, that others do not have and I've already seen this happening in the storage industry itself because I see them as David the dragon the, the, the giant slayer not the dragon slayer okay because really our weave is where information lives and thrives the storage industry before was a battle between high performance this and low cost storage which utilized the network that was NetApp versus EMC as I alluded to earlier now I think that the blockchain storage wars will be between light streams you know people like light streams which I think is going to be something like the 800 pound gorilla and our weave our weave is going to be like NetApps and having said that again uh, in my experience before you can probably see the appreciation okay the appreciation of tokens on uh, the value of the tokens on our weave which is actually here will actually be bigger than the large storage players so i duly pick now that we are going to go this is a yay guys this is a big big yay for us and again if you are intending to invest in this great ICO I would suggest that you take the advice of your financial advisor so that's it for now from the Crypto Vader show and until we meet again for another great show for another great ICO review may the force be with you <laughs>